A sinusoidal voltage delta V equals to 60 volts sine 190T is applied to a series RLC circuit with L equal to 90 millihenries, C equal to 165 microfarads, and R equal to 46 ohms. What is the impedance of the circuit? And B, what is the maximum current in the circuit? So the first thing I want to address here again is the funky notation that's being used. The sine of 190T. So what does that mean? So when we have the sine of something, it's the sine of an angle. So if we have the sine of the something and it's equal to the sine, it, it, this would be equal to the sine of one, some, so some number times T. And so what does that mean? So well, if it's equal, then the signs would cancel out. And we'd say that theta is equal to 190t. What is, what is 190? Well, if we divide by t, we get theta over t is equal to 190. So what is theta over t? Well, that's the same thing as angular speed. So this is just telling us that our angular speed is 190. This becomes important in part b of the question. So we'll want to either know what 2 pi times the frequency is, which is equal to the angular speed. Okay, so for the first part, it wants to know what the impedance is. And so we've done this equation a few times. Um, get some blank canvas here. So I, the impedance, Z, is equal to the square root of R squared plus the capacitive, uh, the, the inductive reactants minus the capacitive reactants squared. And so we don't know what the uh, inductive reactants or the capacitive reactants are, so we're going to have to substitute it. So the, the inductive reactance is equal to 2 times pi times the frequency times the inductance. The reactive capacitance is or the, the capacitive reactance, the inductive reactance, try to make those separate. Uh, the, the capacitive reactance is equal to 1 over 2 pi times, uh, times the capacitance. And so we can take these equations now, and we can substitute them in for our uh, inductive and capacitive reactants. And so what we'll get is that the impedance is equal to the square root of R squared times, or I'm, I'm sorry, plus, uh, plus 2 pi times the frequency times the inductance minus 1 over 2 pi times the frequency times the capacitance and that quantity squared. Now again, I said that the number that they gave me, the 190t, that 190 was my angular speed. So I can substitute in angular speed for this, uh, for this quantity right here. So I'll get that the impedance, z, is equal to the square root of r squared times or plus omega l minus... 1 over omega c, and this is squared. Now this will give you your answer. This is the symbolic solution. The thing you want to make sure you do is convert to, uh, I'm sorry, to SI. Convert the capacitance and the inductance that you're given to SI. And so what I get is that the impedance is equal to 48.32162. And then, so moving on to step two, it says what it wants to know the current. And so we use the general case of Ohm's law. Delta V max is equal to I max times the impedance. And we just divide by the impedance. We just solve for it. And so, um, well, let's move it all at once. So, so we get delta V max over the impedance is equal to the maximum current. Everything should be converted to SI units already because it gives us the voltage in volts and it gives us, and we've calculated the impedance and we, we calculated it and converted it all to ohms. And so we should get that uh, the I max is equal to 1.24168 amps. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the about section of this video. And on the blog, you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.